Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my introduction to my Pan That palette for the 2022 year. I'm not doing this in conjunction with Pantastic Ladies or any theme or anything like that. This is just a palette that I have wanted to pan. The palette that I have decided that I want to pan for this year, as you guys could probably tell by the title, is my ABH Sultry Palette. I have wanted to pan this palette for quite a while and I feel like now is the time to do it. For the past couple of months, the end of 2021, I have been debating whether or not I wanted to do a pan that palette and I have flip flopped back and forth so many times. And then uh, Jessica reached out to me because she had heard that I was going to be trying, that I was thinking of panning this sultry palette and she let me know that she and Dana are gonna be working on this palette too. So I decided to join up with them So that, and the three of us are gonna be working on our sultry palettes. If you guys or anybody that you know of uh, is also working on the sultry palette, let me know. Feel free to join us. I will put you guys in my description box as well, uh, as, along with Jessica and uh, Dana. So um, you guys can feel free to join us. I, I guess I want to go through some of the reasons that I wanted to pan this palette. The first is that this is one of my oldest palettes in my collection. I just went through my inventory and as I keep my inventory, I try to put in there the month and year that I bought everything. And I, and I do that so that I know what my oldest products are. And I want to say this is my third oldest palette. One of my oldest is the Too Faced white peach palette and I am just not ready to pan a Too Faced uh, palette as my pan that palette yet. You guys know those are notorious for taking forever. And then the other one is my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette and I do not want to do a pan that palette that just features his stuff. I want to use his stuff up and get it out of my collection but I don't wanna do an entire series dedicated to one of his palettes. I think I'm just gonna maybe pop an eyeshadow here or there into one of my projects um, or work on them behind the scenes and try to get his stuff out of my collection. So this is my third oldest palette. I absolutely love this. And I bought this when it first came out in, uh, what was it, October 2018? So this is three years old. As you guys can see, this is what my palette looks like. I have a lot of use in it. I did finish off this black shade in the Panner's Pan. This one I don't think was in a project or maybe it was in a project to hit pan and then I just finished it up on my own. Um, this was just the kind of lid setting shade, just the vanilla. And then I have pan in one, two, three shades. So I have a pretty good head start on this palette. The two that I have finished are both mattes. There was a pretty even split, uh, seven shimmers, seven mattes, and I have finished off two of the mattes. So I only have five mattes and seven shimmers, which I think is a great uh, opportunity for me to work through some of these because shimmers for me are easier to use up than matte eyeshadows. So, um, I had seriously thought about using this last year uh, for my Tiny Pans Pan That palette for 2021 with Pantastic Ladies. Um, however, I decided to work on the Modern Renaissance for a couple of reasons. The first and foremost is I knew that those pans would go rusty because I've seen so many other people work on their palettes. And sure enough, as I worked through mine, mine started to get rusty too. And so I didn't want to work on this palette knowing that my Modern Renaissance was going rusty sitting in my drawer. And uh, second of all, I was nervous about panning neutrals. Um, I love wearing colorful eyeshadows and through project panning and through working on random eyeshadows and my pan those eyeshadows and whatnot, I have learned to love neutrals again. I used to only wear, no, I don't know that I would say I only used to wear neutrals because I used to wear color in high school too. So I have come to learn to love neutrals through panning. And I think for most people, it's the opposite. They're very comfortable in neutrals and they're very nervous about wearing color. So now that I am more comfortable wearing neutrals, I think this is the perfect time to roll this palette in. And also this shade Bloom right here, I think will work really well with my last two kind of red tone shades that I have left in my Modern Renaissance palette that I wanna use up because I didn't finish it. I have four shades left in that palette and I would love to see that palette as completely empty for the 2022 year so I can count it in my empties. So I think this shade Bloom will work really well for that. So I'm gonna do this the same way I did my tiny pans. I'm going to take weights of the palette I will keep in the description box what it weighed at the intro and then every month let you guys know how much product uh, or weight difference there is, so you know how much product I used up. 
I also kept track of how many pans I had in each update and how many finished eyeshadows I had by each update. And I put all of that in my description box. I try to keep as much information as I can for you guys. I have been keeping track of the uses that I have on these. So these shades that have pan in them, I know how many times I have used them already. The only two eyeshadows that I have in here that are in a project are Rose Quartz, which is this one, and Birch. I do have these two eyeshadows in the Panners Pan for Emily, and my goal is to use each of those shades uh, 20 times. So once I hit the 20 uses, of course, that will roll out a Panners Pan, but I will continue working on it in this project. So I suppose I should probably give you guys swatches. I am terrible about doing swatches. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some swatches here for you guys so you can see what all of these colors look like. The first three uh, that I have, I only have 12 shades to work on. This one right here is the shade Pearl. This is Steampunk and this is the shade Rose Quartz. Next three in the top row. Let's see, we have one shimmer and two mattes. So this is the shade Ember, this is the shade Bloom, and this is the shade Birch. Now for the bottom row, I've got six more shades down here. This is a very cool tone palette, so this is going to be quite a change for me. I typically wear warm tones. So this one right here, this shimmer is called Cinder. This one is Twig, and this one is called Teak. So last three shades. Dystopian is a very deep dark brown. It is even darker than the shade Cypress Umber from my uh, Modern Renaissance palette. Okay. So this right here is the dark brown called Dystopian. This is Cyborg and this is the shade Slate. It is a matte gray shade right there. So as you can see, I'm leaving fingerprints everywhere. <laughs> as you can see, it is a very cool tone neutral palette. I think that I can uh, work with this palette and it will be able to be used with lots of other different colored shimmers in my pan those eyeshadows, my pan and everything uh, because it is so neutral. So I'm excited about this. I would love to see two ABH palettes empty, and I'm really excited that I'm working on one of my oldest palettes that I have in my collection. So that is my intro. Like I said, I will take pictures. I will start to do a slideshow at the end as well so you can see what it looks like from update to update. Um, I hope you guys are excited about this. And like I said, if you guys are doing this palette too, let me know and I'll be happy to add you to, add you to my description box. This isn't just the three of us. It's open to anybody who wants to join us. So that is everything that I have for you. I hope that before you go, if you haven't already, that you'll please subscribe to my channel. And while you're down there, ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.